spots here, just closer to however you're feeling right now. Normally, you don't need to fill out a form to have a snack, but Raisa Perot has to tell researchers how this bread makes her feel. Okay, here's your snack. They're feeding volunteers like her two gluten-free snacks, both made from grains grown in Manitoba. Getting people to come here, we will, you know, do stuff like take their um, their weight, waist circumference, blood pressure, get uh, some blood samples, and then give them the food, and then they're out the door. So those are the soy muffins. <laughs> Blewett recently finished a six-week soy muffin trial. A similar study is starting with flax muffins to see if body fat is reduced. Very similar design, but with flax. Um, so that one I'm really excited about because I think we're going to see some really good results. Perot says she is happy to eat the snacks, fill in the forms, and do her part for science. You know, I'm a really big supporter in, in, of research. I think that any medical advances that we get um, anywhere. We're always done because somebody decided to do the research. Some volunteers will be asked to step into the bod pod. The researchers use it to get precise measurements. <laughs> volunteers sit in the airtight capsule for a minute. Research scientists believe that flax reduces cholesterol and the machine like the bod pod will help them prove this more accurately compared to a method like BMI that can be skewed by really muscular or heavier body types. For RRC-TV, I'm Andrew McRae.